Oh, Jesus. So, right, so that guy wouldn't die right away unless it went right through his heart. Pointed toes? Yep. They're going to the hospital. Right. Heel? Probably Gross. crack their skull. They're yep. going to jail. Yeah. Yeah. You're looking at, it at, the, at these cool, sweet moves. All I see <laughs> is the amount of lacerations that I need to put back together. <laughs> Hey everybody, Dr. Jordan Wagner here, board certified emergency medicine physician. And to my right, I'm Noah Flater. I'm an actor and martial artist, and I will let you know if they're using proper technique to murder each other. We're going to check out this awesome gameplay of Sleeping Dogs. Oh! God damn. Dude, that's called your terrible triad. It's your medial collateral ligament, your medial meniscus, and your ACL all get ruptured when it gets hit from the lateral aspect. Is that is easy to heal from? No. Yeah. Horrible. Oh or just Jesus use a firm. <laughs> Please kick him. Damn it, you didn't kick him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've seen Christ. that before. You've seen that before? I've seen head injury from like Holy being slammed in a car door. Again, it's just trauma, but the issue is if you get hit on the side of the head, you always worry about an epidural right. hematoma. And that's when you get that lucid phase where you're like, oh, I'm fine, and you go home and die. That's what my mom is always telling me. Like, if you have a head injury, like if you get sleepy, like stay awake kind yep. of thing. Because if you don't go and get checked, yeah. then yes, you need to kind of be aware and be careful of sleeping. But if you get checked, you're typically okay. Then. Right, right. Oh, 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 they're on the dumpster. <laughs> I don't oh, think oh, he's oh. dead. The monasteries. Okay. That's just messed up. Yeah. It's disrespectful. You would never pick somebody back up. You would take to the ground, right? And just finish what you need to and move on. For sure. Yeah. If you survive a drowning, it's actually not called drowning. It's just near drowning. Right. It's the terminology of it. Oh. Jesus. So right. So that guy wouldn't die right away unless it went right through his heart. Yeah. Oh. That's messed up. You could just be hanging there for a long time. Oh, a skill saw or table saw. Woo. And that type of saw, it's so rough that you don't get a clean cut. It just destroys the meat. If you have several limb, you can't put it back together, that sort of thing. So like people come in with missing parts and you're like, what can we do? Nasty. Nasty. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of force to hold somebody's head down like that. If someone's fighting for their life, they're gonna yeah. fight a little bit harder. And they're not gonna go out that quick. Right. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's oh. actually appropriate, right? You use the hip. Yeah, that's a correct throw into the elevator. Oh, no. Oh. Jesus Christ. I love that there's blood coming out the pipe. Do Good you job. think if somebody tossed him onto the pipe at that level, no. it would go right through? It would no, not go unless it's like a serrated, sharp. serrated yeah. sharp, Yeah. you know, like a knife. You're just going to bounce on it. It's right. going to hurt. Uh, uh, oh, hot stove. Uh, 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 I feel like it'd be so hard to like... Get somebody to do that. Yeah. And, then, and then actually the injury that occurs isn't going to knock you out. It's just going to burn and hurt. Oh, Jesus little AC Christ. fan. So you always worry about a little bit of airway with those kind of facial traumas. Make sure right. they're not gurgling on their own blood and so they can actually breathe. Right. So oh, a lot sounds. of these like fight moves are t using the patients, bending them over, using their Slamming. fight against you and just changing the direction. I haven't seen much choreography. It's literally like knee, break their face, throwing them into something. There's no like technique techniques. That kick is known in Wing Chun. They do that in-step kick. It's like a reverse side kick. Not many martial arts do that kind of a kick. Here we go again. Ooh. Yeah, the engine. Engines. That would not be fun. No, hemothorax, pneumothorax, and typically blunt trauma to the organs. I feel like it would be like my ribs are snapping. Yeah, ribs my snap lungs. and then the ribs puncture your own lungs. Yeah, you're yeah. done. Ooh, no. no. More saws to the face. I like they add like a little bit of the struggle before the they struggle go is in. good. It's yeah. like get off me, get off me totally. Yeah. Pretty hard to break a windshield. I think any glass is actually really hard right, to break. Right, because it's all the way it's made. It is exactly. so solid, yeah. <laughs> All right, Doesn't goodbye. I wish, I mean, I don't wish, but it's not that simple. Just toss a guy in. Right, I mean, not that easy to throw and push people, unless they're off balance themselves. If they're waiting for the hit, yep. they know it's coming, it's easy. That's a real right. uh, throw. Or shoulder a dislocation, potentially. Yeah. Most shoulders are anterior dislocated, so that's why I actually went that direction. Inside so here. Forward. Mm -hmm. Yep. Strangulation, obviously. That takes a while, a lot of force. But when you are able to put somebody in a chokehold, you can knock somebody out. Very quick. Like you just need to cut off right? this, the airway, yep. yeah. And it's not that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I feel everybody's tired in this one. That's called Don't Sleep With My Wife. That's right. <laughs> oh, he's still with it. These are not martial arts techniques. <laughs> Ooh. Yep. Done. What is this? A, a garbage know. disposal? That is brutal. Yeah, that's not a fun way yeah. to go. 
Oh, we're in the Bruce Lee uh, jumpsuit. I love this suit. Are you kidding me? Chuck Norris, Bruce Lee. Yep. Love it. All right, we got a little bit of swag. Ooh, ooh. Nice. Awesome. That's a tornado kick. That's a really fun one. All Taekwondo. The hands are like boxing, dirty boxing. Here we go 2v1. Doesn't line them up. The other guy's just standing yeah, there. Yeah, right. yeah. He's got time. Yeah. Okay, all right. It's hard to lift somebody up like that with right. an uppercut. I love the oh. angles of their hooks that they throw. It's really pretty. I just love that he was able to, he brought his knee up, blocked, and then was able to yep. counter it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was made famous by Tony Ja and Ombak. He combined it like gymnastics and Muay Thai together. So that was a famous move. He would do a step on top of the guy and drop the elbow straight down. You're looking at, it at, the, at these cool, sweet moves, and I'm like, okay, blunt trauma. All I see is <laughs> the amount of lacerations that I need to put back together. <laughs> oh, three guys now. Such a Bruce Lee kind of move. The chain punches from Wing Chun. Got it. I like the spin kicks is using your heel. Yeah, he yeah. uses his heel. So we say for spin kicks or any kick, yeah. pointed toes, yep. they're going to the hospital. Right. Heel, probably Worse. crack their skull. They're yep. going to jail. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh he's flinching. <laughs> right. And yeah. the heel is just this big, solid piece of bone. Mm -hmm. And typically only snaps in one direction. It actually snaps downward. So the Or for your heel. Yeah. Gotcha. Ooh, that Tony Jaw elbow. Nice. <laughs> Front oh. kick. You never see anybody get kicked in the nuts, though. <laughs> Not in these games. It's just disrespectful. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I see it's survival. I don't see it as the rules of the match. There's an unspoken code. Right. Like, I know we're all here to fight. Right. I know you got a lady at home. That's right. I'm right. not doing right. that to you. <laughs> That's fine. Big guys, it took a while. Actually, hitting to the back of the head would be really damaging to yeah. coming out this way. Yep. I think it's illegal in the UFC. Wow. So how damaging it can be, yeah. There, um, are, there are some times God, you can- damn, there's a lot of guys. Weird traumas can cause internal decapitations where so much trauma and so much force that even though it's not open, mm -hmm. that you're, you're decapitated basically, even though it's not severed per se. Mm -hmm. But it could snap inside, right? Yeah. yeah. He's throwing a lot of the low rounds, yep. which they do in Muay Thai a lot. Got it. I don't think he's really doing it like a Muay Thai guy, but it is a very powerful oh. weapon. You can break the femur if you do it correctly. I've seen guys breaking through multiple baseball bats. Wow. They have three yeah. baseball bats, they can cut through them, of kick straight through. Wow. And breaking the femur is the hardest bone in the body it's to break. It's pretty damn right? hard to it, break, it's yeah. Tough. And when it breaks, it's horrible. Yeah, that's a bad injury to have. You can actually lose a lot of blood from femur fractures too. Oh, interesting. Yeah, like leaders. Wow. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's one of my favorite ones. That's like a Hapkido move or Aikido. And it, you know, if you're holding onto the arm itself and don't allow it to rotate, you can also jack up the shoulder too, right? Wrist, shoulders, all done. Yep. Yep. And crank their neck doing that. Yep. How many guys is he gonna take on? Yeah, that's the only thing is a low kicks. I feel like if he connects, those guys are getting dropped. If your weight is appropriate as the person getting hit, you can just kind of lift it up out of the way. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, I love the mixture of the martial art style movements with the dirty boxing. Yeah, yeah. It has a level of like realism. Yep. The fact that the game allows you to not just be stuck in one type of movement. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I like it. Those knees. You do a lot of damage with knees. Yep. Knees and elbows. Knees and elbows. If he hits to the ear or, or to the side of the throat, they're going to let go real quick. Right. All right, what is that called? This is Wing Chun. So oh, he's cool. practicing on a wooden dummy. Yeah, cool. It's a traditional training tool. Yeah, you've seen martial a lot of movies. Uses. That's where I've learned all my martial arts skills. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How easy is yeah. it to trip somebody like that? It's pretty easy. Got it. It's pretty, pretty damn easy. Yeah. I'm a higher caliber martial artist, but in sparring, I do it a lot. Just right. in boxing, yep. if I'm messing around with some of the guys, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. play cool. around with their footwork a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You can add a little bit of a shoulder bump or a hip bump, and it completely throws the people off. Got it. Half the time, the guy are like falling or stumbling and yep. just watch them fall over, crack up a little bit. <laughs> right to the nads. Mm -hmm. I've actually never seen a ruptured testicle, but I've seen some pretty bad swollen hematomas down there. And a lot of times you oh, potentially just need to drain it. Damn. Yeah. And that's your job? No, that's a urologist job. <laughs> I just identify the problem and then call the specialist. I grab the knife, spin him around, he'll flip. If he doesn't flip, his shoulder's gonna get thrown out. I do like the jumping kick that he does, the front ways. Uh-huh, I think that's a tornado Because you can there. see that the jump with the non-dominant leg causes your momentum to then. There's a lot yeah. of momentum and uh, inertia that's generated yeah. through the kick. As long as your foot's conditioned or your leg's conditioned to handle yeah. how much power you're generating, you're yeah. good. Yep, that's surgery. Maybe get another cadaver, ACL, or recovery time's like 12 weeks. Eight to 12 weeks with that type of injury. Jeez. 
That's not that bad. No. Could be but, worse. You know, then you gotta rehab it. Right. When he's going for those chain punches that he's doing, one of my favorite places to hit, and my team can vouch for it, is I'm spot on on the solar plexus. Yeah, yeah. Constantly hitting that. So just one hit, yep. normal person, they'll drop. They'll get the wind knocked out of them. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a horrible feeling. You're doing five of those in a row, yep. they're done. They don't want to yep. fight anymore. Yep. This guy's dressed up in a traditional Muay Thai. Oh yeah outfit he's got the rope wrapped around his hands and he goes into flying arm bar that was right. sick all i can think about is when they put the sap on the gloves and put it in a glass and kickboxer yep, with the gloves. Yep, that's yeah. it you know yeah. cause some more bloody laceration yeah oh, oh that was dope that was like a football police tackle. officer doubling oh wow oh the reverse i would have disarmed the gun oh a little road rash never yeah. hurt anybody that was cool. There was a lot of like orthopedic injuries that I could see that I would have to deal with. My favorite part though is just the old school Bruce Lee get up. I had a great time because it's a lot of fusion of different martial arts. We saw a lot of Wing Chun. We saw some Muay Thai in there, Taekwondo. I love the wide hooks, the wide movements. I wouldn't want to fight this guy. It would not be a good time. Don't forget to check me out on YouTube, Dr. ER. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, my IG is at Noah underscore Flater. Make sure you guys follow Gameology on Facebook and YouTube, and thanks for watching. Bro, I don't even know. <laughs> hey, on this expert's react of Songbird. Is it Songbird? What's the name of this tip? I believed you. <laughs>